Hershey, and that's what I call it starts at a young age. Mecca-Bib Commissioner Valerie Wynn talking about people who illegally dump trash around the county. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Johnson. And I'm Frank Malloy. Tuesday, commissioners voted to spend $500,000 on some extra manpower to help them clean up big illegal dump sites. Part of the money would go towards another camera system. And as Anthony Montalto tells us, they've been down this road before. It seems to be the year of the camera in Macon Bibb County. First, tag reading flock cameras, then a downtown surveillance system, and now commissioners want to try an old strategy again, one they say worked a little bit the last time they tried it, catching folks who illegally dump trash on tape. It's ridiculous. It don't make no sense. Make the neighborhood look bad. When Chris Jackson visits his friends on Pinson Street in South Macon, this is his view. He's glad he's just visiting. I don't want to live around that. Yep. Yeah, they need to do something about that. They have several times, but the trash keeps coming back. No matter how much we clean up this area in particular, people just continue to dump. It came up at Tuesday's Macon Bibb Commission meeting too. Commissioner Virgil Watkins suggested spending another $500,000 to contract gig workers to clean up trash. Commissioner Bill Howell suggested they take some of that money and try to install cameras at big dump sites. Honestly, I look forward to getting them up in certain areas where we do have the problem. This is one of those areas and, you know, beware. Mayor Lester Miller says the last cameras they had around town disappeared. Howell says the new cameras will be high enough and sturdy enough that people can't get to them. I think that'll be a good idea. That'll be a real good idea. Jackson offered another suggestion he feels is more permanent. Put some here, some that be, you know, something where they won't, you know, call the street ain't nothing going on right here. Ain't nothing going on, so they're going to dump it here every time. Howell says if the full commission approves it next week, then it'll go to Code Enforcement Director JT Ricketson's office for his employees to start working things out and figuring out what camera system might be best. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Hey, Commissioner Howell believes people keep dumping trash because they don't know there are other options to get rid of their bulk waste. Macon Bibb County offers two convenience centers for people to use free of charge. The first one is on 11th Street in downtown Macon. It's open seven days a week from 830 to 4. The other is on Fulton Mill Road behind Animal Welfare. That center is open Thursday through Sunday, same hours. You must live in Bibb County to use them. The next community-wide cleanup in Macon Bibb is on March 4th. It'll be the fifth community cleanup since the Clean Streets Matter program started back in 2021. That program continues to grow as volunteers and local groups turn out to help. If you want to host a cleanup in your neighborhood, you can go to the website keepmakinbibbeautiful.org.